Hey everyone, thanks for joining us for the Your Daily Prayer podcast. We hope these few moments of prayer and reflection are encouraging to you as you go about your day. To get all of our episodes straight to your phone during the week, just subscribe to this podcast on iTunes or wherever you listen to your podcast. To find more prayers, devotional content, and blog posts, we would love for you to join us at iBelieve.com. A Prayer to Press On by Sharon Janes, read by Leah Martin Moses, my servant, is dead. Now then, you and all these people, get ready to cross the Jordan River into the land I am about to give to them, to the Israelites. I will give you every place where you set your foot, as I promised Moses. Joshua 1, 2-3 It is that sentence, I will give you every place where you set your foot, that stops me in my tracks every time. God had given the Israelites the land, but they still had to take it. They had to put their foot down. They had to take hold of the promise. I just love miracles, don't you? I love reading about times when God mysteriously and supernaturally intervenes in someone's life, times when what was impossible with man becomes a reality with God. But almost every time God performed a miracle in the Bible, he required men and women to participate, to put their foot down. Build an ark, lift your staff, fill your jug, gather jars, make a cake, blow a trumpet, give a shout. Jesus echoed his father's cadence in the New Testament. Take up your pallet, cast your nets, stretch out your hand, wash off the mud, look in the fish's mouth, roll away the stone, stand up straight, go and tell. Yes, God does miracles. And in every one of the above-mentioned marvels, God's power followed someone's obedience. The key to experiencing the abundant life of relationship with Christ is obedience, and most people don't even like the word. But it is the pathway to the faith you long for. Oswald Chambers wrote, Even the smallest bit of obedience opens heaven, and the deepest truths of God immediately become yours. Yet God will never reveal more truth about himself to you until you have obeyed what you know already. So, girlfriend, put your foot down. It's time to take hold of the promises of God. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I've been so wishy-washy when it comes to taking hold of your promises and making them mine, but today I'm putting my foot down. I will not allow my human reason to talk me out of my spiritual inheritance. I will set my foot down on every promise that you have given me today. I'm going in. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.